Hey YouTube, it's the Crazy Dad here, aka DinoMac24, and we're doing another product review. Today we are going to review the Schick Hydro 5, as well as my personal favorite, the Gillette ProGlide series uh, razor. So I'll do the Gillette on my right side and the Schick Hydro 5 on the left side of my face. So let's start by opening it up, the Schick here. And, uh, you know, most people, at least like my dad, for an example, uses a uh, traditional uh, shaving cream with the, with the brush and stuff. And I used to do that for years myself, but then uh, I found it was cheaper to to buy just, you know, the creams and stuff. Although, I think really, actually I think the cream that he buys, the, the Wilkins stuff, is like a buck fifty-seven or something like a Walmart, and I pay a dollar something for for this stuff. This, it's the, uh, hang on, where is it? It's the Equate brand from Walmart uh, shave cream for sensitive skin. But I've also got the uh, Nivea for Men sensitive skin stuff that I got for Christmas. There you go. Good stuff. So, without further ado, let's get our faces wet here. Ooh, a little hot there. And people have different ways of uh, of shaving. Personally, for me. I usually do it every couple of days, and, uh, you know, so I think what I'll do, just for argument of the sakes here, is I'll use the Nivea stuff, just because I like that stuff. Comes like that, and you just go like this, and it goes on your face. So, just give me a second here. So, and we'll just rinse off real quickly here. Now, one of the things to note with both the razors, first and foremost, oh, Ella, scoot, scoot. to note with both of the razors, sorry, just a second. Okay. So here we have them side by side. So they both have, here's the, the Schick one, they both have the, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this thing here. Oh, this is for the guards, so like it's to go along the, the grain of the whisker. They both have five blades, and they both have the trimmer at the back. This one here is a bit more cumbersome to get to. You have to basically kind of flip it back like that, and then the blade's exposed. So we'll leave it like that. that I mean, that's, I guess it's a safety thing, but still, you know. So we'll start with this. No, the one thing, the big difference between the two of them is this one. I don't know if you can hear that. It vibrates. It's supposedly supposed to lift the whiskers up, but we'll see. So we'll start by doing the right side here. So hopefully you can see this. And you just take like that. Now they claim that you can go straight down like that without having to go over again. And I guess it depends on if you've only got, like I shaved yesterday, so I've got a bit of a five o'clock shadow going from yesterday as well, but uh, in the commercials, you know the guys have you know just shaved, so they don't have you know a lot of stubble like most of us guys do. And then you just down like that. Now sometimes what I have to do is I have to go sideways just to kind of make sure I get it all. 
like that. Now one thing to note here, we'll back up here a bit. Oops, zooming in here, sorry. There we go. One thing uh, also that they claim with the Gillette Pro Glide, Ser Pro Glide series is that you can actually go up like this against the grain. And I suppose you could. I, I find that I actually use the back here, the part they say is supposed to be for doing your upper lip and stuff, but I find I just go down like this. Cleans up any loose ends. So there we go, there we have the ProGlide powered series. Now we'll use the Schick Quattro 1. Now, one thing that I'm finding right away with this one, it's not a smooth feeling per se. They're saying that you're supposed to get this hydration feeling of water against your skin. I don't really feel that. Um, the, the razor itself feels a bit more cumbersome in your hands. Um, but, and you're still having to, you know, go like this to kind of get it all cleaned up a bit. Now, yeah, see, it tugs a bit more at the whiskers. Yeah, see, I just cut myself. Great. I mean, shoot. See, and that's the other thing. With this guard here coming down like that, it makes it really hard to to go like this, right? You're not getting the blade against the... You don't have the blade right against you like you do with the uh, with the ProGlide. So, there. That's, that's done. Yeah. Now, let's just clean those up. Rinse our faces off real quick, and I'll show you which one I feel I think is the smoother one. Get it out of my ears and everything. Now, the other thing when it comes to shaving that I find, I, I usually do it every every couple of days, just depending on you know what's going on. If I've got a function I need to go to, or you know, because working night shift. Really, who the hell is going to see you if you got a five o'clock shadow or a couple of days worth of growth, right? So, okay. There, that's that. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay. So, already I can tell you with this side, the right side, it's very smooth. There's no, no whiskers that I can feel at all. Whereas on this side, it's smooth, but it's still. It missed certain spots. I can tell right in here it missed some spots. So I'll have to clean that up. Now, as to the cost, this, the Schick Pro Glide, you can pick that up for about $7.99 at Walmart. Uh, the blades are going to run you anywhere from about 15 to uh, 15 all the way up to about 40 bucks, depending on how many you get. I usually buy four of them at a time. That runs me about 17 bucks, but I usually have a coupon to get me about five bucks off of it. Um, the reason that they brought out the Schick Hydro, Hydro, this one, is because they stated that it was an alternative to the, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> that it was a uh, competition, if you will, for the um, uh, Gillette Pro Glide series, and a cheaper alternative. Um, honestly, I wouldn't recommend this. You know, again, you've got this part here that's really cumbersome that you gotta pull back right there, right? So you can't get the blade against your skin like that. Whereas with the Pro Glide, it's right there, boom, done, right? Um, as far as like going around like someone like myself who's good to go tea, the Pro Glide makes it really easy to just go like this. This one, again, it's a bit more cumbersome, it's a bit more heavy, heavy feeling than the Pro Glide is. So my review is that the I would def definitely recommend the Gillette Pro Glide series, the powered version, over the Chic Quattro Hydro 5. Alright? Thanks once again for rating, commenting, and subscribing to the Crazy Dad channel. And uh, don't forget to do so and leave your comments below. I look forward to them. We'll see you guys all later.
Thanks for watching. Bye.